In this video, I am going to explain solution of a equal cylinder problem related to the stream fitting process. With this problem, we are going to discuss. A compound cylinder is formed by shrinking of a 240 mm internal diameter and 320 mm external diameter on a cylinder of 160 mm internal diameter and 240 mm external diameter. The shrinkage pressure developed is equal to 12 megapascal. Determine the minimum temperature to which the outer cylinder must be heated to slip it over in a cylinder. The elastic modulus of the material is given and also the thermal expansion coefficient also given. First of all, I am going to explain the theory behind this uh, shrink fitting process. Shrink fitting is a method to strengthen in the cylinders which are subjected to a internal pressure. When cylinders are subjected to internal pressure, uh, two different stresses are developed. This uh, stress is called sigma t tangential stress and sigma r uh, radial stress. Sigma r develop if you take the cylinder. If the cylinder is subject to internal pressure only situation, if you take the wall of the cylinder, these stresses are acting like this. In a tangential direction, sigma t. In a radial direction, sigma r. When the cylinder is subject to internal pressure only situation, this is sigma t maximizes the inner surface. This the distribution of the sigma t is uh, like this. This is how sigma t is varying. This is how sigma t is varying. Yeah. Then the radial stress is a negative. That is acting like this. Always when the sinus subject to internal pressure only situation, magnitude of the sigma t is greater than the magnitude of the sigma r. Here in this situation, the maximum uh, tangential stress is the critical stress. That is the principal stress acting at the inner surface. If it, if it exceeds material yield stress, the failure may occur. So that is very important to limit maximum tangential stress. So one of the method is uh, string fitting. String fitting can uh, reduce uh, maximum tangential stress. In string fitting, what happened? Let me explain the string fitting process as well. Let's take the, this kind of uh, outer cylinder and let's take uh, inner cylinder. Then this uh, outer cylinder inner radius r this inner cylinder outer radius is equal to r plus delta this is uh, slightly greater than this radius this uh, radius is equal to r this radius is equal to r plus delta this uh, delta is called shrink fit tolerance shrink fit tolerance when assembling these uh, two cylinders one method this can heat until this uh, diameter expand beyond this diameter or this one can cool using the uh, liquid gases or placing inside the dry ice until this uh, diameter shrink less than this diameter so then these two cylinders can assemble when it comes to room temperature when it comes to room temperature it forms a rigid bond in between these two cylinders and the very high pressure develop at the interface. This pressure is called interface pressure. Interface pressure. Because of this interface pressure, if you take the inner cylinder alone, inner cylinder alone, it's like a cylinder subject to a external pressure only after string fitting. Okay. Here, yeah. because of this interface pressure, this inner surface negatively stress. Negatively stress means the tangential stress develop is the negative. Here, yeah. it's like this. This time, there is a negative. 
negative mean this inner surface is subject to a compressive stress compressive stress the compressive stress maximizes the inner surface okay then this uh, stress distribution we can draw like this and for this uh, cylinder is uh, positive like this when increasing the pressure when increasing the pressure now the tangential stress increases from the negative value to the maximum so in this situation it can take higher load higher pressure than use of a single uh, cylinders because it is increases from the negative value that is how the cylinder bow uh, strengthening in a string fitting process uh, okay this uh, problem also related to the string fitting process this is the problem we are going to discuss okay uh, this is the diagram uh, related to the string fitting uh, process for this problem here the developed interface pressure is equal uh, 12 uh, megapascal in order to get the 12 megapascal interface pressure we are going to find the delta required first to find that one we are going to use this equation okay so we are going to substitute the values in this equation then we are able to calculate the delta here the p is equal uh, 12 into uh, 10 to the power of 6 is equal to elastic modulus of the material is equal 205 into uh, 10 to the power of uh, 9 divided by 120 into uh, 10 to the power of minus 3 delta into b square 120 into square minus uh, 80 into square c square 160 into square minus uh, 120 into square divided by the 2 uh, b square 120 into square 160 into square minus 80 into square by solving this uh, equation we are able to calculate the delta the delta value is equal by solving this equation 43.35 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 6 Uh, meters okay, uh, if you take uh, outer cylinder if outer cylinder radius is r if you take the inner cylinder inner cylinder outer radius is equal to r plus this value 43. 35 into 10 to the power of minus 6 to assemble these uh, two cylinders this one should heated until this uh, radius reaches to reaches this value or beyond this value so it should expand by this much of amount so then we can we are going to use the thermal expansion uh, linear ther thermal expansion equation to calculate the temperature required the delta l is equal length into temperature difference into thermal expansion coefficient alpha so the the amount of uh, expansion required is equal 43.35 into 10 to the power of minus 6 the original length l that is equal to the interface uh, uh, radius b 120 into delta t 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6 and uh, 10 to the power of minus 3 to convert uh, millimeters to meters then the delta t as delta t we are getting 60.2 uh, celsius the temperature difference required is equal 60.2 celsius if you know the room temperature we can calculate the required temperature to to heat this uh, outside cylinder okay uh, this is how we are solving uh, this kind of uh, thick wall cylinder problem i think uh, you all got a clear idea how to solve uh, this kind of uh, thick wall cylinder problem 
Okay, thank you.